Disclaimer. The following content may contain crude language, violences, some dirty humor, and sexual jokes are not suitable for children and is intended for 18 plus or older audience. Viewer discretion is advised, which means if you get offended easily, do not watch this video. Thank you. What's going on everybody? Your boy Man Up. If you like my videos, if you find them interesting, if you want to share the content, if you want everybody to know what I'm talking about, whether you agree or disagree, please like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, coming from your boy Man Up, thanks for watching. I figured that this question would probably come up sometime soon, just because of the video and the topics that I cover. But let's break this one down. So, intentional weight loss. So, you purposely saying, I want to lose 20 pounds is fat phobic. And you might be like, what? Oh my goodness. I'm not trying to be fat phobic, but you are. You're being fat phobic to yourself. Why do you want to lose 20 pounds? It's probably to fit into something smaller. It's probably so people treat you better. It's probably for all the reasons that fat folks are shamed simply for being fat. So by continuing to perpetuate that, right, seeking intentional weight loss, we are contributing to our fat phobic society. So that's why intentional. Oh my God. Y'all heard what this lady had to say. Y'all heard it. She think if you trying to lose weight, you're a fat phobic. But she did say fat phobic to yourself. But either way it go. She believe if you're trying to lose weight, then you are fat phobic. No, not that you're uh, trying to live a healthy life. Not that you're trying to, you know what I'm saying, you know, not have any kind of issues as you start to get older. Your body starts to break down. You know what I'm saying? No, no, not because of that. Like, you don't want heart disease. You don't want kidney disease. You don't want diabetes. You don't want high blood pressure. Uh, uh, you don't want to be, you know, shortness of breath all the time. Struggling just to tie your shoes. You know what I'm saying? No, she, ain't, she don't want all that. You don't want that. You want to be fat. See, when I saw this video, I told my wife this. Literally, word for word, I said, women who do stuff like this, two things. One, they try to eliminate the competition. You know what I'm saying? So more attention will be on them. Or two, just because they're not willing to put in the work to try to, you know, improve their quality of life. They want other people to join them. You see what I'm saying? Because why in the hell would you be fat phobic to yourself? Even though I'm believing this fat phobic crap or none of this homophobic and f shaming and whatever all this crap that y'all come up with, all these phobics and shaming and all this crap that y'all come up with. I don't believe in none of it. But anyway... Um, why would you sit here and tell, try to tell somebody because they're uh, 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 trying to have a better life? You know what I'm saying? You should, you shouldn't, because I'm not trying to do it, so you shouldn't. That's nine times out of ten. That's basically what you're telling them. Intentional weight loss is fat phobic. Really? I can't believe she said this. First of all, I can't believe she said that. So it doesn't matter that I want to live to, you know, try to be 50 years old, you know, 60 years old without too many health conditions. It's not the saying if you're skinny that you're not going to have no health conditions. No, no, no. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying if you're not in good, if, if you are in good shape. That you won't one day have a heart attack. No, no, no. Not saying that at all. But we all know you have a better quality of life if you're in good health. Because there have been plenty of people that's in great shape, have a heart attack, have a stroke. You know what I'm saying? There's been plenty of people that 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 
that are super skinny that have high blood pressure, that have high cholesterol, all that good stuff. Yeah. So that don't mean nothing. But we all know if you have a better qual better quality of life, you know what I'm saying? Like Dion Sanders says, you look good, you eat good. You, you eat. No, he said, you eat good, you look good. You look good, you feel good. You feel good, you play good. You play good, you know what I'm saying? You live good, you know? I forgot exactly how you put it, but it was something like that. Y'all know what it is. Go look it up. Dion Sanders said it all the time. But because this woman right here is overweight, she want other people to join her. Because she's not willing to put in the work to have a better quality of life. She want other women to join her. Because how in the hell are you going to think that this is okay to, on how to live? Intentional weight loss is fat phobic. Are you serious? How is that fat phobic? Now, the funny part about it is when she did this video, she deleted it. And, and, and I had to go and try to find it from other sources. Because <laughs> when I saw it, I said, oh, I'm going to talk about this. So I had to go and try to find it from other sources. Because when I watch it, because somebody else, when I was watching the video last night, well, two nights ago, I should say, some, uh, a mem like I said, me and my wife were watching it, and my wife was ca calling this woman here all kinds of names. The, talking about she, this bitch is stupid. She, what the fuck is she talking about? Of course you want to be in good shape. Uh, uh, no, and I was thinking the same damn thing, and that's why I said women who do this, well, no matter what, what it is, two things. One, they're trying to eliminate the competition so all eyes can be on them. Or two, because they're not feeling positive about themselves, they want other people to join them. That was the only two reasons. Because why in the hell would you tell somebody that it's okay to be fat? When that's the huge problem that we have in this country. That's a, that is the one... If not, number one, one of the biggest problems that we have in this country is people uh, 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 being obese and overweight. Now, everybody's body shape and, you know, body size, all that good stuff is different. So I'm not going to get into that because it's that'll be a forever long list. But what I am saying is... If you want to be healthy, go talk to a doctor. Tell them what it is that, I mean, ask them, excuse me, what it is that you need to do to be, to be in great shape. Now, I know there are some women out there that got the curves, got the thickness, and, you know, whatever. But that is different from putting on all this fat and then want to tell other women or other people I'm saying other women because that's who women usually talk to when they're saying these things. But that's who women are talking about when they're sitting here saying, oh, if you intentionally trying to lose weight, you're fat phobic. Well, guess what? You need to go talk to comedian and actress Monique, who lost weight. Hmm? Uh, even Lizzo is starting to lose weight because... Even though all this body positivity crap that y'all women want to talk about, even Lizzo is saying, hell no. Huh? Yeah. Even Lizzo is trying to lose weight to get in better shape because she realized nobody really wants to pay attention to her. Ah. All I'm saying is, and I'm going to end this video, all I'm saying is, if you feel a certain way about who you are as a person, don't be trying to influence other people to join your ship. To get on that same ship, that same boat with you. Just because you're not willing to. It's great that you love your body, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Nobody's saying that. 
But talking about somebody trying to lose weight is fat phobic. No, people are trying to lose weight because they they want to have a better quality of life. They want to be here on this earth a little bit longer to see their kids, you know what I'm saying, be successful or their grandkids or whatever the case is. And it's usually women that talk about their body size. You know what I'm saying? They, they looks and stuff like that. Nine times ten, it's a woman. As you can see right here, you rarely see men. Hell, I got called fat several times. I got a little bit of gut. I'm not going to sit here and lie about it. Yeah, I got a little gut. And yeah, I don't give a damn. It don't bother me. Why it don't bother me? Because <clears throat> even if I'm skinny, even if I'm muscle-bound, even if I'm tall, even if I'm short, you know, somebody going to have something to say about how you look. So no matter what, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't bother me. Now, me personally on a uh, on how I feel about myself, I say, yeah, I might stand to lose a good 10 pounds so I can breathe a little better. So, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying I'm, I'm overweight. No, but I, I'm in decent shape, decent health. But I could stand to lose a good 10 pounds, maybe. You see how I did that? Didn't hurt my feelings at all. Don't give a damn. Why? Because. Who are we? I know, I'm not, and then I'm not trying to drag other other men or other people actually into not trying to have a better quality of life. I guess you could put it. This is ridiculous. With all that being said, this is your boy, man. Up, I'm chugging a deuce. I holler at y'all.